What's up everybody? I'm JJ and this is DoorGunner47 and today I'm doing an update video on the BNT ACP9K. Now this is a pretty cool pistol if you ask me. Um, I think it's really cool that the military just adopted it for their new submachine gun and everything. Um, this is a pistol, imported as a pistol, uh, and it's semi-automatic, right? But Franklin Armory makes a uh, binary trigger for it, which is pretty cool. It is a three position selector switch. It's got safe, uh, semi-auto, and then binary, right? So you go, right now it's in the safe position, go down one, it's in semi, and then you go up one more, it's in binary. So let's try this out real quick in uh, semi-auto. See how smooth it is. Uh, B&T already makes a great trigger and everything, so it, it's, it's already a great package as it is. It's just semi-auto. This thing is super smooth and accurate, man. Crazy. All right, so let's go to binary. Let's go load up another mag. So I could shoot this pistol on semi-auto the whole video, but I don't think that's why uh, that's why you clicked on it. So let's just keep shooting it in binary. See what happens. Whew. All right. So I've had the Franklin Armory binary trigger in this platform for a while now, um, and I've got it in a, a few other my other BNTs. I got to tell you, it's, it makes shooting this, this gun that much more fun. It's already incredibly flat, accurate, and smooth shooting, right? The recoil, it's, it's almost not even there. But you add that trigger, oh man, is this thing so much fun. So yeah, if you can get a hold of a ACP 9K, do it. If you can get a hold of it with a binary trigger, do it. If you can get a hold of one and put a binary trigger in it, I think you'll really enjoy it. If you like the content in this video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. If you didn't like the content, let me know in the comment section as well. And if there's anything you want to see, let me know in the comment section. I'll see if I can get a hold of it. We'll see you in the next one. Ugh.